Welcome to Tunisia. In this episode, we're going on an adventure into the Sahara Desert. On the way, we're going to stop at Shat El Jirid, one of the largest salt flats in the world. We're also going to check out some of the most incredible riads and boutique hotels where we get to experience the Tunisian hospitality firsthand. Let's go check it out. Sabah Khalili from Tujor. That's how you say good morning in Arabic. And these are the Tujor tiles, famously made here to keep the interior cool. The first Riyadh we check out is Dar Seda Beya, which has a beautiful atrium and rooftop deck. Bienvenue à Tujor. This is Tunisia, midday call to prayer. Dar Saida Beya. Dar means house. Saida, madam. Beya is the name. The, even the name, we, it is derived from the Ottoman Empire. Uh, Beya is the wife of the Bey. Thank you. Beautiful Riyadh. Very picturesque. One of the top reasons to visit Tunisia is the cuisine and hospitality. Here we visit a local homestay where these ladies cook for us a six course authentic meal. Jaridian salad. You can only find it here. This is homemade brick. Famous Tunisian pastry dish. Tuna fish? It has like cinnamon inside. Homemade couscous. Look at this. Next, we try the staple of Tunisian cuisine and the national dish, couscous. Here, it's prepared with two different versions one with herbs and one with tomatoes. Two different types of couscous, homemade. Thank you. Oh no, I'm getting I'm, no, you can be in it. <laughs> Mike, how is it? Mm. Mm -hmm. Next, we try the main course, which is lamb tagine. This is homemade harissa sauce. Look at you! You are my best friend now. That's good. It's just better for us, but a blank leaf. Strawberry! Strawberry, yes! yes. yes. Photo. Is this yeah. dates? No. Yes. dates? Dates, yes, this is dates. Thank you. Not at all. This is ladies. Oh, thank you. Wow. The ladies get the parfait do that. <laughs> oh, I get the fancy <laughs> cup. Oh, parfait. Yogurt. Parfait. 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 Okay. <laughs> yogurt parfait. It doesn't sound as nice. Parfait, parfait do that. Mm. Oh, wow. Excellent. After dinner, we thank our host, Abdel Fattah, and his wife and enjoy some delicious mint tea. We tour the rest of the homestay, including the kitchen, where these talented chefs cooked and prepared the six-course meal for us. The homestay includes beautiful, authentic accommodations, and it's one of the best ways to truly experience local culture. This homestay experience was one of the most immersive and memorable experiences that we've had on our trip to Tunisia. If you're interested in booking, check the link in the description below. We travel to the outskirts of Tujer to visit one of the most modern and eclectic desert hideaways called Dar Hai. I'm inside this incredible hotel called Dar Hai. They have this beautiful seating area overlooking the desert. They have a yoga room. Look at this kitchen. Wow. Darhai sits on the edge of a palm grove oasis called Nefta. The property is also only 30 minutes away from the Star Wars film sets in the Sahara. 
Now it's time to go inside the suites where we check out the modern eclectic design. This is a suite. What? This is so cool. Wow, this is so cool. There's the bathroom. Wow. It's very cool in here. Guys, we are inside Dar D A R H I in Tunisia. There's a bird cage room. Look at the architecture. This is a suite. Oh my god, look at this bed. Look at all these bright colors. This is incredible. It's overlooking an oasis. Here's the bathroom. Wow. Now we head to the second story of the hotel, which includes a pool. And if you like this unique design as much as we do, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you guys ever want to stay at an art museum, Dar High. The property consists of 18 rooms, each with its unique design concept, and each facing a different orientation, either the village or desert. Notice the solar panels, and there is a rooftop. We have a beautiful sun deck. This right here is the heating system for the winter. Very eco-friendly here. This unique experimental design hotel made us feel as if we've entered a galaxy far, far away. Hey. Hi! Hey. Sunset in Tatooine! <laughs> Fresh traveler, Mummy Atlas. What? Woo! Asia. <laughs> After lounging at the hotel, it was time to check out what the Nefta Desert Oasis has to offer. Palm tree juice. Thank you. Cheers. Mm, it's really sweet. Kind of like sugarcane juice. This is the panorama of the oasis, and right there, is Dar High, where we just were. Mm -hmm. We check out the beautiful panorama of the desert before heading back to Toujours. Our first stop is the Medina of Tozier, known for its traditional architecture and beautiful riads. We are going to Dar Tozier. Situated along the narrow streets of the Medina is Dar Tozier. Outside, it looks plain, but inside, it's filled with fountains and pools. This is a traditional guest house, perfect for immersing yourself in the local culture and exploring Tozier's ancient Medina in nearby Sahara. We are inside a Riyadh. This is a common accommodation here in Tunisia. It's a beautiful home and when you go inside there's an atrium. Right here you can see there's a pool. That is not my school. Outside the Riyadh, we walk around the old Medina, known for its impressive brickwork and beautiful mosques. This Medina dates back to the 14th century. Historically, Tozier was an important stopping point for caravans crossing the Sahara. So the reason for the double knockers is one is for the man, for the woman. <laughs> One is for the child so they know who's knocking. These are photos of the Medina. We 
are shopping. Goes to Tozu. We are going through the souk. The souk. We have beautiful carpets, lots of handmade crafts, and we're checking it out. It's awesome. Some of the most popular goods to buy here in the Medina are the woven bags made of palm, the dates, and Tunisian carpets. We gear up for our desert adventure the next morning. Water pump where they pump hot water. See the steam coming off the water. From Tuger, we drive an hour and a half to Tunisia's largest salt flat called Shat el Jared. The salt lake is between 15 and 20 meters above sea level. Its surface is over 7,000 square kilometers, which makes it the biggest salt lake in the Sahara Desert. in the world. Right here, in the distance, is a mirage. It's not real water. It looks like water. Oh my god, our, our eyes are playing tricks on us. To add to the mystique of this area, it was also used as a famous Star Wars filming location. The exterior shots of Luke Skywalker's home was filmed right here in the middle of the salt flats. We head further down the road towards the Algeria border to check out more of this desert landscape. They have toilets out here. And then it says, Au revoir, goodbye. Here, we're only 150 kilometers from the Algeria border and the lake has turned different colors from pink, purple to greenish blue. Salt is collected around the rim of the lake and looks like snow. You guys. Just when you thought we were in the middle of nowhere, we spotted some shops selling the salt and also some mint tea. And if you're looking for some salt for cooking, salt bays eat your heart out. From here, we continue our adventure further into the Sahara Desert. I stopped off over here and these rock formations are made by the wind. This area is known as the Gateway to the Sahara and is an important stop for the Trans-Saharan caravans. Going through the sand. Oh, these are like hoodoos. Uh, Your uh, trousers so cool. and okay. shoes. And also very particular. I like that hat. Uh, you have here. Hold it look. No. <laughs> Here, Mike gets dressed in the traditional turban of the Sahara called a tejal must, which prevents the wind-borne sand getting into your eyes. Look at you! Stylish! That evening, we check out one of the local cafes for some shisha. Time to get some shisha. Oh, I love how this is lit up at night. Welcome to Tunisia. <laughs> While at Hubli Bubbly, we learn a little bit of Arabic, which is one of the oldest spoken languages in the world <laughs> in the official language of 22 countries, including Tunisia. 
the language is written from right to left, and just one change of the vowel mark can completely change the meaning of the word. Zero, First zero, set. No, no, no. Yeah, no. The second one is ink, and the third one is private information. Just from the dots. Marhaban be become fi Tunis. Yes. Okay. Woo! You are Woo! welcome in Tunisia. I like that. <laughs> He's smoking. Hubbly bubbly We hope that you enjoyed this trip into the Sahara Desert of Tunisia. The customs, culture, hospitality, and cuisine of this region are out of this world. Inshallah, Tunisia, thumbs up and subscribe for more travel videos.